Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 27th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your world update on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking here, the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did see a sizable M-class solar flare, and that is going to be coming in on the cresting side, left-hand side, just below the equator. Small flash there. Other than that, remains in heightened C-class range. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming, as we will be able to see that M-class solar flare on the left-hand side. Right there, looking at outgoing imagery here. Very active sunspot region turning away. And as well, plasma filaments dancing around the surface of our sun. Closer look here at that M-class solar flare that crested around our sun. As well, that spastic sunspot region just north of it. And there's our M-class flare. So not in an Earth-facing direction. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Just some amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. That plasma shot coming from the southwest region. Plasma filaments standing up around the northern hemisphere. 193 angstroms here, pointing out the coronal holes. One in the northern hemisphere, that is an earth-facing direction right now, and one diminished small coronal hole turning away. Solar X-ray flux as it remains in C range. Shooting out actually two M-class solar flares today. One was about an M2, the other one barely an M. Geomagnetic activity sitting at about 3, a KP of 3, up over 5 the last 24 hours. As you can see, this is why I look at our solar winds. We've been over 500 kilometers per second, sitting at about 553 right now. Noticing the density bunches coming in at 12.5. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral, not much to report. Small CME in an outgoing direction. But the NOAA Space Prediction Spiral is showing that it's going to give us a glancing blow. Having a look at it here, as you can see that energy taking off from our sun towards that little green planet, which is Earth. We've got some activity coming in for the 29th and the 30th, which was already forecasted here with Daily Events Worldwide in yesterday's video. I want to thank all of the people who smash that like button and as well share Many of you sharing recently, and it really helps to grow the channel. I really thank you very much. So current space weather conditions as we are going through an R1 minor radio blackout impacts as well a G1 geomagnetic storm. Weak power good, minor impacts. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 4. Amplitude of 3, quality 7.5, and power of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we are sitting very low right now. Only at about 180 earthquakes across the USGS map. That is low for this time, but definitely seeing some activity here through Indonesia. Band of Sea seeing a pretty deep earthquake there, 4.4. As well, Abajo, Indonesia, 4.9 there. Pretty deep for the region. Amahai, Indonesia. Sizable earthquakes here. So, uh, south of Tonga region, 5.5 and a 5.0. No deep earthquakes through the region. 3.7 here. Burnham, New Zealand. 18 kilometer depth. That is just south of the Tapo volcano. Indian plate. Seeing activity up into King Hai, China, 4.7. Northern King Hai, as well as 4.4 here in Muguratsky, Russia. And notable earthquakes here, Chitre, Nepal, and Banglong, 
Nepal, 4.1 and a 4.6. Also noted here, 4.7 in Egypt, very rare earthquake for Egypt. That was reported in last night, or last night after the the update. So very strange and rare earthquake for the region. I have not reported one there ever, I don't think, in my five years uh, broadcasting here with daily events worldwide. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on situation over Africa as we've seen increased activity. Caribbean plate, minor activity throughout, largest being Dominican Republic with a 4.3. North American plate, not too much to talk about. Minor activity, Texas, Northern California, 3.3. Notable there, Fern Forest, Hawaii, and minor activity continuing up into Alaska. South American plate, very quiet, and Scotia plate showing a 5.1 magnitude earthquake. Also here, last but not least, a 4.6 earthquake was registered at a 10-kilometer depth in Greenland. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Heads up, stay aware and prepared, and have a plan. Hashtag no fear here. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. As we have the Shevelech volcano in Russia actively erupting, updated six minutes ago. Reventador in Ecuador. Popocatito in Mexico. Sabancaya in Peru. 180 hazards here, and most of them are floods, storms, winter storms, but about five volcanoes getting updated today. Having a look across the Atlantic Ocean, North America, South America, some big systems moving in to the West Coast right now, atmospheric river of moisture to follow. Atmospheric river of moisture happening in the Southern Hemisphere as well, right from Papua New Guinea, North of New Zealand. Big system there off the coast of the United States and Canada. We still have one tropical depression to talk about. Tropical cyclone and Darien is still alive. Getting ready to diminish and head southwards. Overlooking Africa. Not too much to talk about except for northwestern parts as you do have a low moving in there and as well a pretty big stream of moisture heading towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. Let's have a look here at the weather forecast brought to you by Ventu Sky. Mix it up a little bit here with a different app. Give you more detailed forecast as we do have a low Alberta Clipper coming out this week, Thursday into Friday heading into northern Ontario. And we've got three lows approaching the west coast here. It's going to set to bring heavy amounts of rain towards northern California, BC, and Washington. And then by Friday, we've got a big, nasty system here developing in the Gulf. Very large extreme weather event is expected through southeastern United States as this roars up the east coast into Atlantic Canada. And by the weekend, Saturday, we do have a pretty big Colorado low. Looks like two low pressure systems are involved with that. Stay tuned for daily forecast. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, strong line of moisture right across Peru daily and nightly, it seems. To watch for flash floods through those regions. Overlooking Africa, Madagascar. We do have a tropical depression here developing towards the new year, right in between Madagascar and the coast of Africa. Other than that, daily evaporation rains, but could be heavy at times. Overlooking Europe, as you've got those lows heading in from the Atlantic right now, stormy, wet and windy conditions heading into Ireland for this weekend coming up. But still a very strong high pressure ridge over North Africa, thwarting all of your moisture northward and keeping things 
keeping temperatures above normal. Overlooking Southeast Asia, India, Micronesia, no major tropical systems developing, just daily evaporation rains. And then we get to Australia as we do have that low that is still spinning over the Northern Territory. And then another low heading in to that same region, New South Wales, Queensland. And of course, we've got atmospheric river of moisture stretching across through Papua New Guinea, tropical depression, just barely missing New Zealand. And then have a look here at a long range forecast for the Pacific Ocean, as we still have these long lines of moisture stretching across the Pacific and strong lows smashing into the coastline. Heads up, everybody. Stay aware, prepared, and much love. And I appreciate you watching today. Please share this video with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.